I'm doing a good job of running the country. And I, and I said, well, if you're doing a good job of running the country, what's your ass doing on Twitter? Get your ass off of running the damn country. We, got, we, we used to call the White House. And I said, you tell this motherfucker to call me right now. I ain't playing. We'll Who call anybody with the, with the gun? <laughs> no, they it's not. They said it's a free country. They our said right, it was. Our military fight for our rights. I'm exercising my they, right. Well, you know what? You're like exercising in yard B in orange. That's okay. I'll be in the RV like this. <laughs> That's a topic though, right there. I have a topic, no for guys. What's the name of the show like? Okay. Uh, so when you were in jail, like did you ever and he, his response was, did I? And I said, hmm. You just got a late answer, yeah. No, he, he wasn't late. He said, you, you, you're asking, did I? And so I said, what does that mean? So basically what he was to me, I felt like he was saying, I didn't do it, but maybe. Cause you know some guys think if I'm the one doing it, I'm not gay. They just you know or he's. Uh, ah, no, that just doesn't mm -hmm. really work so, anymore. He was on your Any booty. type of physical contact, yep. same sex is, and it's fine. Just you know. So guys, that, so you were dating a guy. He'd been in jail for ten years, and you got with him, and then he get out, and you'd be like, oh, later on, he be like, well, it comes out. Well, you know, he was somebody bitch in jail, or he was somebody was his bitch in jail. I wouldn't know. Would you stay with him? Would you him? stay with him? Yes, you would if you'd like to. No, I didn't. If you liked him, yeah. was with someone that was in jail for 12 years. Obviously, you liked him, right? He was with a guy? Yeah. No, I don't know about that. I that don't know was, until That's you have to ask now because that's the going thing. That's like, right. I know. So, with you, going like, you was thing. in jail 12 years, so did you ever... Like, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? No, I'm cool. How good are your Kegels? I mean, what happened? Man Kegels. I oh, sleep in my mouth. I sleep in my mouth. Get you a big happy hour? Yeah, give me a happy hour or something and you be like, we finna pick up this bottle for Tron and take it to the oh, head. You were too many Negroes. Like, you know what I'm saying? She be like, I, you, you know, know too many Negroes. Like, no, all y'all going to jail. Everybody going to jail now. She can't You're no longer it. valuable anymore. <laughs> <in the way. laughs> I tried. We got the chief of police <laughs> gonna give us a look. <laughs> Please don't do that. No. Don't be dying on the show, girl. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Look at the honey's coffin. <laughs> she gonna kiss you on the show. <laughs> and then you get up. <laughs> Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> oh, I'm getting paid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all like that energy? We're gonna have that many hits and punchlines in that motherfucker. So if we pick a subject, if it's Homophobe, I'm going to make homophobe jokes. If it's about the president, I'm going to make political jokes. So at least I know where we go. So every time you say something, it's an uppercut. See, if it don't have no energy, it does not sound good. It doesn't feel good. I want that. You have to be... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Do not be afraid. It's a camera. You already know. I know. You already know. That's what's honey closet. You never know what's going to be said in the closet. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want you to be scared about nothing from what we gonna do, what we gonna say. But I would like to do definitely Honey's Closet here. We're gonna venture turn to a podcast that's solely Honey's Closet. Okay? We can't bring that to Happy Hour with Honey. So we could do that. Just you're supposed to be filming us, you'll be here filming him.
So when we sit down and we talk, I don't want it to seem edited. Like, I don't want it to yeah. seem scripted. I mean, that's why I was talking about the people. Because yeah. if there's people in front of me, that conversation bounces off to just the yeah. person I'm sitting next because to. But that's all what that's I the am organic. known for. The honey says whatever on mind. So I want that to still, even oh, with happy hour. Yeah. 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 As long as that part, that element is always there, that will make it really, really good. And I just cool. want it to pull out. So people are watching it, it just pull out. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, did they just say that? Yeah, we did. I'm with that. In controversy, mm-hmm. no matter good or bad, I've always been told any type of um, any publicity is good publicity. Uh-huh. Just kind of, kind of joking around, but serious too. He's like, I got you. So he hit me up a week later and said, I'm gonna send you something. And so he sent me this, and he said, I just went in the studio and just recorded. Dexter already had the mm-hmm. beat. I just went in there and wrote the lyrics. Let me know if you like it. I'm like, oh my God. He said, tell me some points. Give me your son's name. Uh, Kyrie wasn't born yet, of course. And so I was like, oh, I, I named, you know, certain people, whatever. And send it to me. Yeah.